guys welcome back to my channel so as you probably saw i posted the unboxing of this a couple days ago um and i'm so in love with it this is my first bds and this is the beige croco um, i'm absolutely in love with it it's my first time officially trying a six size and i'm just really excited so i wanted to film a setup video first i just really quickly want to thank skillshare for sponsoring today's video if you guys haven't heard me talk about skillshare it is the only sponsor i talk about on my channel because i truly love it and use it you can learn so many different things on there there's graphic design you can learn how to use adobe photoshop and illustrator InDesign, those types of programs they also have tools for small businesses i know a lot of you guys are small business owners um, and you might be looking for new tools or programs to use um, and they also have like illustration and lifestyle productivity so many different things I was on there today and I found a class that I thought a lot of you guys might be interested in. It'll teach you how to make editable floral patterns in Procreate and I know so many of you guys have small businesses or planner shops and do like sticker designs and I just thought this was the coolest class. It could probably help you with a lot of different skills and drawing techniques, especially if you're really into floral patterns. So the first 1,000 people to join with the link down in the description box will receive two free months of premium membership. So definitely take advantage of that and learn some new things this summer. Okay, so let's get into the planner setup. So this is an A6 size BDS planner. This is the Beige Croco. I don't believe this is gonna be offered on the website. I think it was being discontinued actually. But I got gold rings, I got the two secretarial pockets, it has a few passport pockets, and I got the 20 millimeter rings. And I apologize in advance if the lighting's a little weird, I just moved and I'm still trying to figure out the best timing um, and the best way to film in this room. I'm going to go ahead and start adding things and then I'll meet back up with you guys and flip through everything and kind of explain how I'm going to be using each of the inserts. Okay, so there are a few things that I'm still waiting for in the mail, but for the most part, this is everything that I am planning on using um, for the time being. So this is what the top view looks like. 
Um, again, these are 20 millimeter rings, so they're not super thick, but I was able to fit um, quite a bit of inserts and two sets of dividers in here. Okay, so I don't really have anything in these front pockets yet. I wanted to make some new task cards to go in here, just like some little reference cards. Um, and I love how these look in here, so I'll probably do something pretty similar. Um, and then I don't have tons of stickers in here or anything like that yet. Um, I'll kind of just add them in as I go. And right now I'm just keeping all of my stickers in my desk drawer so I can quickly like grab for them and use them if I need to. So the first thing that I have in here is a plastic fly leaf that I just adhered some adhesive pockets to. What I used to create the fly leaf is one of these folders. Um, I've used these folders, they're from Amazon, and I use them in my filing system. I think I've shown them on my Instagram and in other videos, but I just buy these folders and they're really nice. They fit letter paper. It's probably kind of hard to see right here, but they are tabbed and I think they come in a pack of six. So I have a bunch of these just kind of laying around and I was able to cut out quite a few A6 size um, like fly leaves from this. So all I did was take an insert and I just traced the corners of the inserts and then I used my paper trimmer to cut them out and then, and this is a folder, so I got I think one, two, three, maybe three to four on this side and then it's double-sided, so um, six in total. And then I bought tons of these Foxy Fix adhesive pockets. So I have a ton of these already, but I believe you can buy them at Cloth and Paper. I will leave a link down below for those. And all I did was just fill these up with some of my most used like card size things. So this is my routine card that I made. Um, it has my AM, PM, and weekend routine. And I do reference it sometimes, but I just like having it in the front of my planner. I just think it looks really cute and it kind of personalizes my planner a little bit more. And then I have one of my work task cards. I think I am going to be using this as more of like an everyday planner, at least while I test out a six size. And then on the back, I just have some transparent dot stickers and then some of these work stickers from Infinite Lotus. These are some of my favorites. Whenever they restock, I always buy more because I just think they're so simple and chic and I just love how they look in my planner. And then I have a set of dividers here. These are from Cloth and Paper. These are the Glass Girl Gang in white foil. And I love these. I've raved about these a million times before. They just add a little bit of extra shine to your planner, which I like. So behind the first divider, I have my inbox. Um, this is the cloth and paper inbox dashboard and I just have three little mini circular like sticky notes on here from I think they're from Etsy or Amazon. I can try to link them below if I can remember where I got them. They were just in like my collection of like Japanese stationery. I saw in one of Amanda's videos, she was using some cute little sticky notes like this and it reminded me that I had some. I just put a couple on here in case I need to jot anything down. And then I also got some of these nude sticky notes from Cloth and Paper. And I didn't put any in here right now, but I meant to. So I usually like to keep one full size sticky note in my inbox section. So after that is a dashboard. This is from Elamont Paper Co. I just, again, really like the way that it looks. I think it fits the theme of this planner really well. And then here I have my monthly overviews from Infinite Lotus. And these are pretty much in every planner that I ever own because I just really like the layout. So it's a little reference calendar and then important dates on the bottom. I started planning in these the other day because I had the inserts before my planner arrived. So I was just testing out the size a little bit. So I planned July and then here's August. Um, and then after these inserts, we get to the next divider. And I have my favorite dashboard in this section. This is a Kobe Bryant quote. It's from Cloth and Paper. This was in one of their subscription boxes and they added these to the site. So I got the A6 size. I also have it in A5 size. And I just think it's so pretty. It's like a really nice light cream color. It matches the planner perfectly and it feels so good. It's like that really soft, like velvety cardstock material. And I just thought it was such a nice quote to keep in your planner. So, so I have that before my weekly planner. Um, and these are from Elamon Paper Co. She added some new designs to her website. You guys should definitely check them out. They're so nice. This is one of my favorite layouts for her. I always forget what it's actually called on the website, but I'll leave a link for it down below. Um, and then after this section, I also have some daily inserts and these are undated. These are from Infinite Lotus and I've been using them the past couple days. 
Um, but the same system as my A5 planner. I haven't really been using my A5 planner since I got this one. I've been like testing out these inserts um, and just planning on like notepads and things. In the next section, I have yearly goals from Cloth and Paper. This planner was originally gonna be a goal planner and I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with this now because now that I have it, I want to use it as like my everyday planner, but I'm not sure if it's going to have enough space for everything that I need. So I'm just going to kind of play around with it and see if I can do like just personal things in here and like do like more personal tasks, um, home tasks and goal planning and then just have a work binder or if I want to do all my planning in one binder and then have a separate one for goals and long term things. But I knew that I wanted to have some of these yearly goal inserts. So these are awesome. They're broken up into kind of like four different time periods. And then you can start planning goals um, by one month, three months, six months, and a year. And then after that, there's a few pages of reflections and then future goals. And then after that section, I just have notes and I'm just using these for notes that I think of, things I have to write down. Um, and then in this finance section, I wanted to have some of these Maddie Plans and Elamon Paper Co. Um, collab inserts that we did last year. And she's going to continue to sell these through 2021 as well. So if you guys want to grab them, they'll be available. And I just moved my key over from my A5 size planner. So this is my color coding key. This is how I track the different sources of income. So that is what this is. And again, this is um, a piece of that plastic folder that I just cut down. I split the hole so it would just come in and out really easily. Um, and then I added a adhesive pocket to keep my little key card in there. And this is what the inserts look like in A6 size. They're so cute and I like to do most of my planning quarterly. So you have the first quarter of the year and this is where you can track like certain dates and income. Um, and then you have the second quarter, third quarter, the fourth quarter, and then your annual financial review. And then that is the end of like the first section of the planner. And then we go to the back section. These are cloth and paper monthly dividers. I got the gold foil. They look so nice in here. And I just wanted to have some monthly calendars in here, um, just in case I wanted to like schedule or do more goal planning like in depth by the month. So I have the rest of the year. And then I also got their new 2021 inserts. So I'll probably start adding these once we get closer to like December. I'll probably switch out um, some inserts and put these in. And then in the back section, I just have some more of these um, Infinite Lotus stickers. These are the self-care stickers. And then a little Ollie clip from Etsy. And again, I don't have anything in these pockets yet. But yeah, so this is kind of like the basic setup and I'm sure I'll start adding more things in and like more accessories and stickers and things. But I'm so excited about it. I'm really liking A6 size so far. It's like the perfect in-between of A5 size and pocket size because before I was using pocket size for about a year or two and then I jumped to A5 size, which is amazing. I needed way more space, but then I really wanted to find like an in-between because pocket is just way too small for me right now. So, so I feel like this is like the perfect compromise where it's small enough, where it's portable, you can throw it in your bag, but it's also big enough where you can actually write and have a little more space to plan. But I will leave links for everything and I also have coupon codes, I'll throw those down there as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye.